really culture. Risk management has to be part of the culture of an organization. I think the problem you see is not the lack of culture. Many organizations, many people want to get rich quick. That's right. That's not sustainable. That's not sustainable. You may have one good success, but how many failures are you going to have? The most successful business leaders in the world have had failures in their career. Maybe multiple failures. But they build from those failures. They grow from those failures. Probably the most important thing at BlackRock is risk management is a component of our culture. We talk about it openly. We talk about it every day, that our job is to be providing a risk-adjusted return for our clients. We have one technology platform globally, worldwide, and we embrace this one technology platform so that our risk is connected and understood worldwide. As I said, some companies are more interested in getting rich quickly. That's not a sustainable model. Uh, I don't know anybody who's gotten rich quickly who has been able to do it repeatedly. It's like professional sports. In sports, there's always that one individual who does it very well for one, one event. The superstars in sports are the ones who are able to be, perform at that very high level year after year after year. And I look at risk management in the same way. You need to create a culture in which people embody risk management. And that becomes sustainable every day, every week, every month, every year, and then year after year. And that is the difference between, I would say, great firms and good firms. There is, I'm not trying to suggest that great firms don't make mistakes. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, but they do it with a knowledge of the risk, and they may have made the wrong decision. So the problem we see too often are people making mistakes, and they're not aware of those mistakes. That's what's frightening. But if you make a mistake, but you had the risk understanding, I'm, I expect the market to do X and it did Y. I was willing to take the risk and I was wrong. That's okay. I mean, when you're in the markets, you're going to make mistakes. But the key is, are you making mistakes under the parameters of the risk that you sought to take?